Hi, third graders, and welcome to another lesson to help you in writing your personal narrative. We're going to start today's lesson with a mentor text that is a personal narrative called Road Trip. Boom! Kadunk, kadunk, kadunk. Dad, what was that? I stammered as the palms of my hands slowly slid down my face to reveal what we had hit. All I could see was the pitch black sky with a sliver of the bright white moon. The giant pine trees were still flying by as our long brown station wagon continued down the dark road. Kadonk, kadonk, kadonk. Dad, what is that noise? I cried. Our car was wobbling back and forth, causing us to jerk left and right. I could feel the worry rise up my back and tingle in the back of my neck. What was that weird noise? Why wouldn't dad answer me? A few seconds later, which felt like an hour, dad finally answered me. Well, sweetie, I think we might have just blown a tire. I'm going to try to find a safe place off to the side of the road here to check and see what's going on, dad replied, sounding a little unsure. The loud noise and constant bumpiness continued to make me nervous. I watched out the front windshield from the back seat as our headlights guided us down the gloomy black asphalt. The car coasted off to the side of the road, and I could feel us come to a halt. Click! I undid my seatbelt and began to peer out each window of the car. I stared with my eyes wide open into the night at complete blackness. You stay in the car, okay? There's not much to see out there, and it's dangerous on the side of the road like this. It's best if you just stay put. If it's the tire, this shouldn't take long, all right? Dad instructed. I just nodded my head because I was too afraid to go out there anyway. He grabbed the flashlight and went out the driver's side door. Slam! My heart jumped as he shut the car door. I was sitting in the back seat trying to see my dad over the front seat. I could only make out the arch of his back through the headlights as he bent over the front tire. Then he was gone. I sat up higher and looked around. Dad, I whispered. My eyes were darting all around the car. Where'd he go? My heart began beating faster and faster. I could hear noises like bumping and rustling, and I could even feel the car shaking a bit. Greek. The driver's side door opened, and I jumped a mile high. Whoa, sweetie, it's just me. The tires changed. Let's get back on the road said dad. Uh, yeah, I've just been waiting on you, I said with a shaky voice and a grin. All right, this is a really good personal narrative, wasn't it? it they sure did hook me. And that's what we're going to be talking about today is how to hook your reader, starting with the very first sentence or line of your personal narrative. So let's take a look at the first thing that this author wrote. They said, boom, Kadunk, kadunk, kadunk. So they started their lead to hook the reader and make them want to read more by using a sound. And a sound is a really good way to start your personal narrative and use as a hook. But there's not the only way that we can start our personal narrative because if we started with a sound noise or word each time, it would get kind of boring. So that's only one way. There's a couple others that I'm going to talk to you guys about today. So your lead is all about how you start your personal narrative. And we want to hook the reader to help them want to read more because we want to make it interesting for them. So in that last one, there was a sound and there's some other sound words that you could use. There's plenty. These are just some pop, drip. Crash, splash, meow, achoo, bang, tick tock, thump. So you could start your personal narrative with a sound that makes sense with your story. Maybe if your story is about riding a really tall water slide, splash would make a good make sense. Another way to hook your reader is by starting with a question. For example, have you ever wondered what a giraffe's tongue feels like? After my trip to the zoo, I will never have to wonder again. So if this author was writing their personal narrative about um, 
visiting the giraffes at the zoo or feeding them? They could start with a question. Have you ever wondered what a giraffe's tongue feels like? That would hook me in and make me interested. Another way to hook your reader is by saying an action. And it could be something that happened in your story, but you could say it first to make your reader question and want to know why that's happening. For example, I ran to my room and slammed the door just as the tears came to my eyes. Wow, I would want to know what happened. Why did you run and slam the door? Why were you crying? What was going on? And another way is by using dialogue. Let me move my video. And dialogue is when we say exactly what a person is um, saying in the story. And we show that the character is saying it by putting quotation marks around the words. And we're going to focus a little bit more on dialogue in the next couple of lessons. But for example, stay close to your chaperone, Mrs. Anderson called after us. Hmm, if you started your story with something like that, I would want to know, why are they having chaperones? Where are they at? Maybe they're at the zoo. I don't know. I better keep reading. Find out. So today you're going to be writing a lead that hooks your readers. All right, let me get out of here so that I can show you where you're going to be. All right, so what you're going to do is go to your digital third grade personal narrative notebook that's in your Google Drive. You'll double click on it to open it and go down to slide number six. And you're going to fill out this anchor chart first, writing a lead that hooks readers. How will you start your story? In this first box, you're going to type the word sound. And then you're going to type some sounds that go along with the idea that you have for your personal narrative. I'm going to scroll back up to my seed story idea. And I'm going to review. And I said, when Bailey jumped up on my ankle and let me hold her for the first time. So I'm going to think of some sounds that I could think of that maybe could have been happening at that point. Click. That could be a good sound because the farmer clicked on his flashlight. Um, another one could be um, temper because the dogs were kind of whining and whimpering. Or um, pop would be another one. All right, in this next box, the orange text, you're going to write the word question. And you're going to think about a question or two that you could use to start your story. And I might say, have you ever, have you ever been so excited that you could cry or um, what else? I could say, have you ever thought you wanted something different than you actually wind up getting? Because I thought that I was going to go there and get a male dog, but I ended up getting a female dog. But that could hook my reader into wondering why I'm talking about that or what I'm referring to. In the third box, you're going to write the word action. And that's something that you do. So I'm going to put something that I did. I'm going to say... I picked her up in 
held her in my arms. It was the happiest moment ever. My reader is going to want to know, why am I so happy? What did I pick up? And lastly, dialogue. It's something that somebody said. Sorry, I'm having a hard time with my boxes. I might say something like, um, station, well, yes, she picked us. I said to Mr. O, and that would be a really good way to hook you in because you'd want to know who picked us, who picked you guys. All right, after you finish your lead page, I want you to pick one of these that you like the best and scroll down to page 19 where you guys had started your personal narrative. And I want you to click at the beginning and put that your favorite lead to start your story. And I'm going to use the sound. I'm gonna use the click. And I'm gonna add that at the beginning of my story because the story's a work in progress and we're gonna be working on it and adding new things to it as the weeks go on to improve it and make it the best that it can be. I hope you guys have fun coming up with some great leads today, and I can't wait for you to hook me as your reader.